We're here with Portland State women's basketball head coach Lynn Kennedy for the last time in 2016 as the Portland State women's basketball team hits the road for the next four weeks. Coach, talk about this extended road trip starting on the road in a neutral site uh, against Oregon this Saturday. Yeah, so the next week we've got four neutral site games in a row with Oregon at the Moda Center here in Portland and then uh, our three games at the Puerto Rican Classic, but it's in Las Vegas now. So, you know, I think, you know, you know, looking at our preseason schedule, um, just to get us ready for the Big Sky Conference and really for the Big Sky Conference tournament, you know, we were looking for a tournament to play in. Um, the Puerto Rican Classic had contacted us to play, and it, it just seemed like a good fit for us uh, to go there, to play in a neutral site tournament, to kind of get us ready for that tournament atmosphere, the tournament experience. So we're looking forward to this next week. Um, you know, playing two top 25 opponents and also, you know, playing opponents who you're going to see tougher opponents, opponents who play at a higher level, even in the Big Sky Tournament. You're going to see those opponents and, and how you adjust day in and day out, whether you get a practice, whether you just get a shoot around uh, during your tape review sessions. And so we get a chance to do that here in the next week and, and kind of get, get us ready again for the Big Sky Conference and the tournament at the end of the year. Vikings have defended their home court so far this season, going 3-0 here at home at the Peter W. Stott Center and are coming off two straight wins here at home. Coach, talk to me about this last home win against Cal State Fullerton. Well, they, they presented a different challenge than we've seen, you know, through other games at home uh, the last few weeks. Uh, they were such an athletic team. Um, they got up and down the floor. They, they really created you know, their own tempo with their speed and athleticism in the open court. They were able to get to the basket. They were coming off a win against Montana at home, uh, then a tough loss against Eastern Washington at Eastern. So we knew they were going to be a tough challenge for us. I thought we did a good job, especially in the first quarter, of setting the tempo for us, defensively picking up our intensity. And then um, you know, we didn't get as many rebounds as we liked, but I thought our difference in the rebounds definitely established our tempo on the offensive end. Um, you know, the second half we gave up too many offensive rebounds, but I liked our intensity, especially on the defensive end, and then the ability to execute, you know, especially with 55% field goal percentage on the offensive end, really establish our offensive sets, being able to execute and finish that game off with a win. The Vikings open that long road stretch here this weekend against the Oregon Ducks at the Moda Center Saturday night at 5 o'clock. Coach, talk to me about the Ducks and what uh, they present as the most challenging opponent we've faced this year yeah I mean they're extremely good I mean there's there's no way around it uh, you know they got into the top 25 this week they've knocked off Michigan State who was in the top 25 earlier this season uh, last night they beat Clemson at Clemson um, so they're they're a really really good team and they're a young team they had the number one recruiting class in the nation this last year um, so you know, they present a lot of different problems for us and challenges for us coming up this week. But the main thing is, you know, they're tall, they're athletic, uh, they're playing more more full court than they were last year. Um, and just their ability to hit outside shots, uh, their guards are unbelievable shooters. They can knock down shots with a person in them, with, with the defense back off, and then their posts. I mean, they create size difference too. So for us, we, we've got a it's almost a game we've got to go into where we have to only worry about ourselves, our execution, our defensive intensity, the things we've been talking about the last couple of weeks. For us as a young team too, going into this week, we've got to do those things um, and just compete. You know, we've got to come out and compete and hopefully for us bring our level uh, to that high level so we compete, compete against them and, uh, you know, just make every quarter close. If we can keep every quarter close, you never know what can happen in the fourth quarter. The Vikings take on the Oregon Ducks this Saturday at the Moda Center starting at 5 o'clock. For more information about Portland State women's basketball team and Portland State athletics, visit govikes.com.